Hey everybody, my name is Fanna Easter. And today we're actually gonna teach you how to teach your dog not to jump on you or other people. Um, this is probably one of the most requested uh, behaviors that we get because um, dogs jump. Uh, the first thing I wanna do is explain why dogs jump. Dogs jump because they're excited. Um, some people feel that the dog jumps to lick them in the face. That could be it. Some dogs really, like my Roddy, so Becky really loves to lick you in the face and the eyes and the nose. I'm sure you've seen some of our videos where I'm actually just trying to put on a collar and all he's doing is licking me in the eyes. Um, but some dogs just jump because they're excited. Um, and they're also jumping on you because it's allowed. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you how to teach your dog not to jump on you. This is going to be the first series. Um, what that means is that we've got several series going forward and breaking it into different chunks. Um, so what I need you to do is watch this segment, practice the homework, and then I want to see you back in seven days for the next segment. And um, from there, think of it as we're building a house. We're going to build the foundation first, then the walls, and then the roof. Um, so we want to make sure we have a strong foundation. I know you want to peek after seven days, but do your best not to. And um, I want you to really just break it into different segments because <clears throat> this will really set you and your dog up for success. So teaching your dog not to jump on you, what do you need to start with? First thing that I like to use is make sure the dog's on a leash and use some really good treats. I'm the cheese queen, uh, so <clears throat> I always use string cheese in my class because our dogs really never get string cheese. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit of a secret. As a dog trainer, we've got skills, don't get me wrong. We can train dogs, but we carry good food and we carry good currency. So usually when a dog's being a little naughty, I'll walk up with my cheese and the dog's like, oh, hello, you're paying well. What can I do for you today, ma'am? And it's amazing how quick they learn some new behaviors. The better the food, the quicker the behavior that they'll learn. So don't be stingy. Okay, so just remember when you're adding um, and giving treats to your dog, think of it as, as, as depositing money in the bank account. Um, you're teaching your dog not to jump. So every time you add a treat, you're actually putting money into that account for that behavior. So, and it's gonna happen. Be prepared. They're going to jump on somebody. They've got to figure out what works and what doesn't work. So there's going to be some withdrawals, but we want to make sure that there's more money in the account than actually taking it out. I hope that makes sense. Um, another thing is many people ask, well, what's the cue? What do I tell my dog not to jump? There is no cue. I want the dog to understand that when a person approaches, that's the cue to sit. Period. Person standing in front of you, sitting in front of you, or walking and approaching, that's the cue to sit down. The dog should not have to have a cue um, to not jump. So it's just something that they understand when they're greeting a person or another dog, they sit. Or they keep all four feet on the floor. That's simple, okay? So we'll go ahead and um, we'll get started. And I've got some demo from some of my students in my class. So I want you to take a peek at that and then we'll come back and discuss actually what's going on. Um, there's some commentary from me so you can kind of see what's going on but hear me saying what's going on um, so it makes a little bit more sense to you. So watch that and we'll come back and we'll discuss it.
Okay, so basically the first part that you want to do um, is make sure that the dog understands or learns that a person will not continue to approach, you will not get a treat when you're jumping. Jumping means any of your feet are off the ground. Front ones, yes, I've seen some dogs get excited and the back ones come off. <laughs> so it's just up to you to understand and watch for that behavior. So um, I would say you can do two, this two different ways. You can have someone help you with someone's holding the leash and they are watching the dog and they're looking at the dog's feet. They're seeing you walk, walk you see you walking towards the dog. The minute that they see as you're approaching, the dog's feet are on the ground, they can click tree. Okay, that's one version. Second version is someone's holding a dog and you are gonna click and treat. So what this looks like is, person's just holding the leash, you walk up, the minute the dog jumps, turn away, walk away, all right? There used to be a way that we used to uh, say, well, if the dog jumps on you, just turn and show them your back. That worked for some dogs, but actually what happened is, is that we taught some of the larger dogs to jump on our backs, because they were still like, getting excited, and they were being reinforced for it because they were still getting touched and yay you're there but it's still your back um, so what I like to explain is is if you're walking up the dog jumps up turn away and walk the other way all right wait come back wait for all four feet on the floor if all four feet are on the floor as you're approaching click give a treat then walk away usually within three times of walking up and then walking away if your timing is spot on the dog understands, oh, this is not working. Feet are on the ground is what's getting you to come back to me, and also I get the treat. So I hope that makes sense, and you'll see your dog. After the first or second time, the dog usually looks at the person that's holding the leash like, what's going on? Usually, you know, when I jump, it's okay. Now all of a sudden, the rules have changed. Oh, well, that's okay then. I get food. Makes sense. I'll see you back in seven days. All right. Thank you for watching.